Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let us understand how LinkUware class work. So to understand that, we need to have understanding on these concepts. If you don't know all these concepts, I have already created videos for this and placed them in my YouTube channel. I am placing the links to those videos inside the description. So you can go through them and uh, then you can come back to this video. Here I have created a console application. So in this let us create a list of int so that we can understand how this list where class look like. So here I am writing this as numbers list equal to new list of int now here if i write where see the syntax of uh, the where clause so this is an extension method and it is accepting a func and that func accepts an integer value and returns a boolean value so that's the reason I said we need to have understanding on extension methods and also on the func. So now it is showing int everywhere in its signature. Now if I change this to long. Now if I hover my mouse on this, it is showing long everywhere. So the reason being is this method is a generic method so let us implement our own where clause and see how this works so here i am creating a class and i am naming this as So we need to create an extension method for that the class should be the static class and here we are creating an extension method the method must be static and uh, most of the link methods works on i enumerable and <clears throat> i'm sorry all the link methods works on i enumerable and the link where class that we are going to right that will return i enumerable of t because uh, we are implementing a where to where method uh, similar to the one which is there with the microsoft dot net and here i am writing my where class and as this is a generic we need to pass t as a type parameter and here the link you methods work on the enumerable we are taking that as source and here we need to use the func and that also accepts t type of parameter that means template type parameter that means anything like in bool long person car anything and it should return a boolean value and here we are writing we are naming this as predicate and now here we are writing a for each loop and iterating through the source and here comes the part where we need to concentrate what this where class will do is it won't do any magic like it simply calls the callback that we pass so and for that it will pass item i mean the value i mean the, the object that it came with the iteration and if the object if, if this predicate returns a boolean value then it will it will return that in the result so for this we need to use yield return item 
So if you see here why we are using yield return is. If you don't use this yield return, we have to create a list of items and hold the objects that matches this condition inside that list and we need to return that list after this for each loop. But here it creates a on the fly list. There is one more advantage also that we can see while debug debugging these changes. So now here I'm writing number list dot my way. So if you see the method is coming because that is an extension method and we have implemented that on I enumerable. So this list implements I enumerable, I enumerable. So that my way is coming over here. So if I write something like for each value x inside the number list i want to search if this list has value 2 or not so here i am writing the value as result so here what it is doing is it is checking whether the 2 is there or not we can write the same code in a in a different way like we can create a function that returns bool and you can name something like this and it accepts long number and long search value and simply we can return the similar thing like number is equal to equal to search value so here we are using a kind of anonymous function but we can do this in a similar way number list dot my where so it's almost identical to the above code x comma two now let us see how this works I am putting a breakpoint here. If I run this code, the breakpoints will not hit. The reason is if you use this yield keyword, this will be converted into a lazy loading unless we attach a iterator or or we write to list that kind of methods it will not execute this code it will execute this code only we write to list or for each loop on this result set so now here i am writing the to list and putting a breakpoint over here and also here now for now just remove the breakpoint over here and execute this code and see if we are getting the expected result or not so this list is having value to and let us see if we got that value or not so we got that value so our code is working fine now let us see how this is working Now I am executing this. Uh, to execute that again we have to write to list over here. I'm removing the breakpoint. Now if I execute this, this breakpoint hit and how this works is for each of the object it will call the method that we passed as a parameter. So this is a kind of best example for the callbacks like how we can send a callback to another method. So even this code is identical to Microsoft's implementation. Uh, it's not exact but it's a kind of identical so here we are passing this method 
as a parameter to my where clause so for each object inside this it is calling this method so here on the first iteration we got value one which is not equal to two that is false and after that in the second iteration we got value two and two equal to two two that is true and here the value is added into the result list and after that we got three three is not equal to two that is false and let us see the result so we got two as the result so this is how the where clause work thanks for watching the video and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and please share this video with your friends thank you